from Boston. This is 7 News at 4.30 on the news station. With a new potential diagnosis in Middleborough, towns across Massachusetts are taking steps to target Tripoli. One town all too familiar with its dangers is taking some drastic measures. A 13-year-old boy from Holbrook died two years ago, and now that town is putting out mosquito traps, deciding all the aerial spraying just isn't enough. 7 Steve Cooper now with a story. Prepping for the upcoming season, it's business as usual for the Holbrook High football and girls soccer teams today. But there's a little bit of a twist. I'm scared to like die from it, because you can die from it, but like I don't think about it. But as the practices carry on, there's something else going on here. A new weapon to fend off the mosquito-carrying triple E virus. That's eastern equine encephalitis. Aside from the spraying on the ground and in the air across southeastern Massachusetts over the past couple of weeks, crews in Holbrook were busy today installing these mosquito traps. You know, after 21 days, very often this thing will be absolutely full of mosquitoes. The unveiling of these mosquito magnets has sort of been an emotional thing here in Holbrook today, mainly because of a tragedy that happened here in town two years ago. That's when 13-year-old Sean Joyce died from Triple E. You look around, this is his school. And um, he should be out there playing right now, and he's not, but he's here in spirit, and that's all that counts. The new mosquito magnets are wrapped in security fencing sprinkled around the athletic fields. Organizers say whatever it takes to protect the kids in town. Whatever we can do to help uh, prevent you know, s someone being infected, uh, we'll continue with that, and uh, hopefully the activities can continue. The message is protect yourself. It's out there. It's prevalent, and more mosquitoes have it than you think. Kathy Moriarty is also reminding residents to do things like wear long sleeves and carry the bug spray around. The other thing is there are about 12 of these mosquito magnets that are set up around the athletic fields as of today, but more may be on the way. In Holbrook, Steve Cooper, 7 News.